Most fighters look at sparring as a low-risk environment where you can work on your skills without the fear of taking unnecessary punishment. These 10 examples, on the other hand, show just how serious things can get behind closed doors. These are 10 UFC sparring sessions that turned into real fights. Number 10. Sean Strickland To kick things off, we have the man with the biggest reputation for hard sparring in the sport. Whether you love him or hate him, it's hard not to admire just how unapologetic Sean Strickland is. His interviews are truly something to behold, as this middleweight contender uses every opportunity to be as brutally honest as he can. As one of 2021's breakout stars, Strickland's performances in the cage have certainly backed up his words. But as time has gone on, his reputation as a hard sparrer has come to light, with many of his teammates claiming that they'd rather not get in there with him during practice. Strickland is supposedly so in love with the possibility of danger that he makes a point of trying to spar with Francis Ngannou every time he can. But for the video we'll feature here, how could we overlook the rival moment that saw Strickland take issue with some risky techniques employed by his gym mate Orlando Sanchez? After Sanchez yanked awkwardly on Strickland's arm twice, he immediately lashed out, shouting at his sparring partner before kicking at him in the protest. Oh, mother hey. Why, bro? Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? I've been away from you, bro. Things, according to onlookers, were heated between the pair for some time. And though they might say it's all a bit rich coming from Strickland, given his reputation, all in all, you can understand where he's coming from. Number 9. Cody Garbrandt Next up, we have the leaked footage that showed Cody Garbrandt dropping his former friend turned enemy TJ Dillashaw during their shared time at Team Alpha Male Gym. To Cody's defense, Dillashaw has a major reputation for his overly competitive sparring, so when he made the mistake of pushing Cody too far up against the fence with pressure, the response he got was surely one that caught him off guard. Garbrandt used this moment as fuel during the build-up to his bantamweight title clash with Dillashaw a few years later. TJ managed to get the better of him twice, KOing him on both occasions, proving that the footage did very little in way of showing who the better fighter was. With their rivalry well and truly settled, both men find themselves at hugely different points in their careers. Number 8. Donald Cerrone If you know anything about Donald Cerrone and his BMF ranch out in the desert, you'll know that those guys go hard when it comes to their training sessions. And on one such occasion, just seconds into a spar, you can see Cowboy eat his opponent's first punch, recognize that he's trying to take his head off, and immediately begin to set up his trademark high kick. It only took a matter of seconds for Cerrone to find his target, easily hitting his opponent's off switch before walking off like it was nothing. Call it what you want, Donald and his team have never tried to hide the fact that they make every training session as real as it can get. And for the unfortunate victim of this brutal head kick, he can't have been too surprised with how things played out for him. Cowboy is an undisputed legend of the sport, and above all other things, he is totally unapologetic in how he chooses to live his life. Number 7. Dustin Poirier Prior to his first crack at UFC Gold against Khabib Nurmagomedov, Dustin Poirier started to get a reputation as an overly eager sparrer thanks to a video released by Colby Covington that showcased him dropping an opponent and celebrating like he had just won UFC Gold. After hitting this man with a hard shot, and some might say it was an overly hard shot, Poirier wheeled away, shouting, and knew, to almost simulate the feeling he had hoped to one day acquire. This was certainly one that split people down the middle, but Dustin's aggressive nature here certainly didn't sit well with many. Some came to Poirier's defense, calling it a regular day in the gym, but more than a few others seemed to think that the diamond showed us a side of himself that he had worked hard to avoid showing us in the media. Number 6. Vandalay Silva By all accounts, Vandalay Silva is a really nice guy in person, but as most of you will know, he is something closer to an absolute monster when it comes to fighting. And if you ever needed Silva's character in the cage summed up in one digestible video, this viral sparring moment does an excellent job. Things were pretty low-key for the opening exchanges, as Silva used the session to work on the more technical aspects of his offense and defense, flowing freely instead of sitting down on his shots. However, when the switch went off, things got truly wild. And before we knew it, the axe murderer was chasing his man across the gym before grounding him and raining down on his defense with some serious punishment. To his credit, Silva's sparring partner seemed to be getting a bit too big for his boots, throwing an axe kick right in the face of the former Pride champion, the technique that seemed to draw the fire out of him. As it turned out, that was a huge mistake. Remember, if you're enjoying our content and want to see more, be sure to leave a like before subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Number 5. Kevin Holland Kevin Holland is a man who is known just as much for his big mouth as he is for his fighting talents, and in recent times, he's been finding himself in the headlines for his habit of inviting internet trolls to his gym so he can teach them a lesson. And for this particular example, whatever the troll in question said to Holland really must have pissed him off. After feeling him out briefly, the welterweight contender began firing off body kicks repeatedly, unfazed by whatever offense his opponent might have had for him. The lesson here? 
Maybe it's not wise to trash talk a dude who can beat you senseless without breaking a sweat. Holland, by the sounds of things, is looking to make these gym battles a trend and if you know anything about MMA Twitter, perhaps he's the hero that this sport deserves. Either way, we're sure that this one internet troll had a pretty sore ribcage when the trailblazer was through with him. Number 4. TJ Dillashaw Though no footage exists for this next entry, we couldn't make a video like this without a mention for the sparring session that effectively ended the career of Chris Holdsworth. Dillashaw, at the time, was still a member of Uriah Faber's Team Alpha Male. In fact, he was by far and away their best fighter, having captured UFC gold with a dominant victory over the longtime King Henan Barrao. But behind the scenes, tensions were growing, both because of TJ's clear allegiance to the recently departed striking coach, Dwayne Ludwig but also due to his overly competitive nature. And that side of Dillashaw really shone through when he knocked out the bantamweight prospect Chris Holdsworth in a particularly rough sparring session. At the time, Holdsworth was undefeated and seen by many to be a real talent worth keeping an eye on. However, due to his concussion he sustained at the hands of his teammate, Holdsworth was forced to retire from the sport of mixed martial arts before ever really testing the upper tiers of the UFC's 135-pound division. As one of the more disturbing entries on our list, it also comes with the biggest after-effects, with the relationship between Dillashaw and Alpha Male going totally south from that point onwards. Number 3. Sean Strickland Making his second appearance on our list is Sean Strickland, a man who, once again, shot his name into the headlines on the back of some pretty heavy sparring. But this time, it wasn't the UFC middleweight who was on the receiving end. Facing a gym mate in what should have been a routine session, you can get a real sense of Strickland's sparring intensity as he gradually warms into the round, upping his pace before head kicking his opponent. Unfortunately, the kick landed flush and instantly stiffened the guy out. If we had to guess, this probably isn't that much of an uncommon occurrence for a guy of Strickland's reputation. When you hear him talk about his many, many stories from that gym, you do get the sense that there are far more incidents like this one. All in all, fighters do try to set their own limits when it comes to sparring day to day. So when you agree to get in there with Sean Strickland, you'd best believe that he's liable to turn it into a real fight at any moment. Number 2. Kamaru Usman Spending any amount of time in the cage with Kamaru Usman is something that most fighters would rather avoid in the training gym. And one look at this legendary training footage between him and the UFC veteran Michael Johnson will tell you all you need to know about how the Nigerian nightmare trains. For the majority of the video in the question, these two went at it with a level of pace that might be shocking to some of you. Usman, as you would expect, gets the better of the exchanges, putting a hellacious pace on Johnson that never lets up. And when you think about Kamaru's fighting style and how pressure intensive it is, it begins to make sense. Cardio is as much of a weapon in the octagon as any punch or kick thrown, something that has allowed Usman to carve out a truly special run atop the 170-pound division. And sure, it might have been a rough day for Michael Johnson, but as the old saying goes, iron sharpens iron. <laughs> Number 1. Conor McGregor And finally, we come to one of the most infamous sparring sessions of the last decade. The year was 2017, and Conor McGregor was preparing for his boxing crossover super fight with Floyd Mayweather by bringing in sparring partners for what he described as real fights. So when the former world champion Pauli Malignaggi got a call from the Irishman's team, he decided to do his best to help, and more than anything else, feel the MMA star out. However, when he arrived after a long flight in less than ideal shape, he was surprised to find that Conor was going after him with some real intensity. To make matters worse, McGregor used the sparring footage to set the media off into a frenzy, cutting out some promising moments he had to really make the sporting world think that his transition to the ring was going well. And don't get us wrong, it clearly was. But these underhanded tactics caused a rift between McGregor and Malignaggi that is going strong to this day. And though Conor had promised that his upcoming Netflix documentary will give better insight into what happened, Pauly's version, where he claims to have been misled, does seem to make a lot of sense. Bad sportsmanship or genius media manipulation, you decide. And that will just about do it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more, be sure to leave a like before subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest uploads. Thanks for watching.